What is going on everybody today? We are back with a brand new WWE Slam vehicle and it's not your typical wreck and slam vehicle but we're back with another quote unquote playset WWE action figure thingy here and that is going to be the Target exclusive, not really Target exclusive, I guess at retail it's Target exclusive but this is the Rey Mysterio Lucha Lowrider WWE action figure set. Very cool car here. This was based on the vehicle that he drove in for his entrance with his matchup at WrestleMania 39 versus Dominic, his son, which which I was there in person for, which was very cool to see. But he came out in his Bible man attire and he came out to the ring and it was a pretty fun matchup. It was actually, I think, one of the more underrated matches on the card here. But you can see big WWE logo, got the Rey Mysterio-ish over here, picture of Rey over there. I still think that's Photoshop. Rey Mysterio logo down here, you got a shot of the vehicle, Lucha Lowrider, got a little barcode deal down here, Mattel logo, launching hydraulic action, you got a shot of Rey getting lifted off. Then you have the car here and we're going to take out everything, we're going to showcase everything that comes with this set we're going to break down the figure that it comes with it also you know it does come with a basic Rey Mysterio figure in there in the past we have seen motorcycles multiple times over we've gotten a forklift we've gotten a slambulance which I love there's a lot of really cool vehicles that Mattel's pumped out over the years and I think this could be another cool addition that I like a lot and you could throw many people in here there's no you know you don't have to just keep it as Rey Mysterio you could throw in Eddie Guerrero you could throw in Dominic you could do some really cool stuff but we're going to break down all the features of this vehicle and find out what the hell it's all about now on the back you do get some pull cool product stuff going on tilt lean and ride into the main event you have a really fun picture on the back here which is hilarious and you're probably thinking what's funny about this but look at seth rollins right here it comes with a steel bat you have him with this bat and he's punching the door with his right hand but he's holding the bat in his left and john cena's like what the hell you doing so it's kind of i don't know i thought that was funny how i don't know you're holding a bat in your left hand and then you just punch a door of a vehicle i just think that's such an odd thing but on the right we do get some product shots you got the press bumper for hydraulic action you got it doing some different stuff like that. I feel like kids kids nowadays don't know nothing about the hydraulics. I feel like in the early to mid 2000s, man, every car that was on MTV and Pimp My Ride and all that, man, I swear to God, it was like every car. It, it, they would put hydraulics in every vehicle. It was ridiculous. You got a shot of the figure it comes with down here, Lucha Lowrider. And then on this big wall side, you do get an image of Mania 39 where Ray rode in on it. And we are getting this figure in Ultimate Edition coming later this year. Nonetheless, man, that pretty much wraps up the packaging for our Lucha Lowrider with Ray Mysterio. So with that being said, let's crack this thing out and find out what this car play set is all about. So here's everything you get with the Lucha Lowrider, and this does come in at $39.99, I think, or something like that, and I'll I'll tell you straight up, I don't think this is worth $39.99. I think the Slambulance, I don't remember what the Slambulance went for, or even the forklift off the top of the dome, maybe you guys can recall what those went for, but in my humble opinion, I do not think this set goes for that price. I, I, I just don't find that accurate. You do get a basic figure, which would be about, what, 10 bucks. So that would run the card about 30 I guess, which I guess isn't bad, and I I like this figure straight off the cuff, but we'll get into all those things. Let's take a closer look at the Rey Mysterio figure first and the accessories you get, and then we'll dive into the car itself. So with this Rey Mysterio figure, we are getting this same head sculpt we've seen so many times before. I am interested to know, is it just straight removable? I don't know, man. I, I think you heard that crack. I don't know if this head sculpt will just come off. Let me, uh, let me get to, okay, it does come off. Okay. So you can pull that head sculpt off if you want to do some sort of cool head sculpt or something like that. I'd, I'd honestly, I would grab it by the sides here and don't do the chin method. I would grab it by the side right there but it does come with a nice necklace right here which i think we've seen on hulk hogan before it has lucha legend it is a long sleeve Rey mysterio t-shirt which is cool on the back it has this rubber thing that goes around a normal Rey mysterio torso i'm guessing i think that's how that t-shirt mold's been for about a year and a half now maybe two years or something but he does have these nice joggers in here which are in gray they're single jointed they he does have some high top sneakers which are cool which we've seen before as well there is nice sculpting and stuff going on on the figure but it's not you know an earth shattering figure but it's still cool i think that I don't think we'll ever get an unmasked Rey Mysterio head sculpt, but I think you could put a different head sculpt on this and really make it look better. Not that this head sculpt's the worst of all time, it's just, and it's 188 years old, man. And it doesn't represent a modern Rey Mysterio. I really, they have used this this head sculpt for, like, different iterations of Rey Mysterio, no matter what era of his career it is. It's kind of ridiculous, but I would really like to see a different head sculpt, but I like this figure. It's a pretty cool basic, you know? I've, I've started to dabble in the basics more and more since they fixed the legs and did some 
some cool things with it. It's a pretty cool figure. I, I like the Rey Mysterio. Even, you even get the hand tattoo in there. Now, if only his elites would come with these hands, we'd be cooking, but this is a pretty cool figure, all things considered. Now, outside of that, you do get one crutch here in a flat silver, which looks pretty realistic. No paint anywhere, but this is pretty much how all crutches look. You might could, you know, paint the pads and the handle a dark gray and make it look better, but I don't hate this. I think this is the job done, and we've seen this multiple times over. And then we get a wooden bat, which we haven't seen in a little while, but it is, it, I think it would have been cooler to get an aluminum bat, which is kind of what this reminds me of, because it is in this aluminum or silver color. But it's got the wood grain. This is a wood bat that we would have seen with Sting and different guys like that. So I'd like to see a different sculpt. But this isn't bad. It's just a weird... I've never seen a wooden bat that was silver unless it was like some special edition, you know, in a case or something like that. So it's a little bit weird, but I, I'm not going to fight it. And then you have the vehicle itself, which is in a flat red color. It does have some gold details going down the side. You do get the eagle on the side or the bird face, whatever you want to say there. It does have operational wheels, which are pretty cool. Nice sculpts going on in there, the wheels. It does have the WWE logos in there, which kind of, you know, I wish it didn't have that, but I'm, I, I know what they're going for there. They want to have their branding. I understand it. Doors are not operational, which I think is pretty, pretty, like for 40 bucks, man, we got to have operational doors. I think that's kind of trash to be honest got the same wheels in the back back here We'll flip it around to the other side so you can see here. It's pretty much the same on both sides Here's a look at the front bumper you got the WWE logo here got some nice sticker headlights in there for you The bumper and everything is sculpted pretty well and you'll notice I don't want to do the play feature right here because it's gonna launch up But you can see the sculpted details in here, which looks pretty good It's just flat so you get a lot of flat gold a lot of flat red Got the windshield in there, which is removable, which is nice to see. And then peering in the inside here, you even get sculpted floor mats, which I think is cool. You do get some nice buttons in here, and you got a steering wheel, which I do believe is operational. Yeah, you can spin the steering wheel right here. The seats are not removable, which is kind of insane. I remember with the Wreck and Slam vehicles, I know you could do that. There's the coveted cup holders in the back, which I think is cool. No cup holders up front, though. But it does have, like, operational stuff, I'm guessing, for the hydraulics and stuff. I'm pretty sure they made this. They probably got, you know, a good inside look at everything. Zooming in, you can see the dash. It's got, you know, some vents, and it's got no radio, it looks like. No radio screen or anything. You can see, like, a little knob right there. Pretty cool interior, and you even have, like, some little things in the sides right there, which is cool. Some nice side paneling. Now, another thing, different features about the car is if you press the hood down, the trunk will open up. And in the trunk, you do have a little bit of space here. And you'll see you do have some speakers and some different things. You could probably store some stuff back here. I don't know how much storage you get because it's kind of low and not as deep as you'd maybe like. But it is operational. You can't get the trunk open and put some stuff in there. You can store some guys in there. Or not some guys, but you know what I mean. I don't think you could put a body in there. But And then there's a shot of the back bumper with the tail lights in there, which are just stickers. And then on the back, it says low 619. Pretty cool things all around. Now, another cool play feature of this guy is if you push the, bump, the front bumper down. So if you press the front bumper down and the back bumper, you will get the hydraulic press or the hydraulic system. So if you push this in... It will pop up like that, and if I wasn't holding it, it would probably launch. But look at this. you could, it, it legit has a spring in there that will bounce. It just rises up every time. So if you push it all the way down, it will lock in place. But if you push this in, it will lift the front. Pushing in the front bumper will operate the front hydraulics, and then if you push up the back bumper, it will hydraulic press both of them, and you can, uh, you know, ride crazy down the road like this right here. And then if you push it all the way down... It will lock back in place and all those different things. But that's, I mean, it's not bad right there. Not not, not terrible. I just don't know how much I feel about it. it. It's hefty. It's got some good weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap necessarily. You know, it doesn't feel light weight and cheap but $40 I thought was kind of I feel like 40 bucks was a bit of a stretch but what do I know man what do I know but I do like the hydraulics right here you can see they're in a gold color you get some springs under there and taking a look at the undercarriage right here you can push these in at first I was having a difficult time kind of locking them in but once you you know play around for a minute you will finally get how to lock that in it's not bad I don't I don't think it's bad whatsoever but I do want to get some different figures and put them in the car and just see how it looks because I think that's important. Especially if you want this for your, I almost said Eddie Kingston. If you want this for your Eddie Guerreros, your Rey Mysterios, all that different stuff. Let's take a look at what that would look like with different figures. So here I have the Shreddy Guerrero Walmart Exclusive Ultimate. And I'm going to slide this in here just so we can kind of see what that looks like. And that is not half bad right there. He actually scales pretty well here, I think. I think this scales pretty well. I can get him to hold the damn. It don't matter. It don't matter. It'll be all right. 
right there. That looks pretty damn good. I actually, I F with that right there. 40 bucks. Actually, now that I think about 40 bucks to have a lowrider for my Eddie Guerrero, I mean, I might, I might think that's okay. I think this is okay. And this kind of gives us an idea on, you know, for a crowdfunder and such, right? We were kind of thinking, oh, they could throw in a lowrider for Eddie. Well, now this is the lowrider for Eddie. I mean, I know you do have the, the, you do have the different things here, but you could probably acetone that off. And hell, if you really wanted to get crazy, you might could custom paint this whole entire thing and make it look really crazy, which I might do, you know, we'll, we'll see. You could detail it. If you painted the handles and did some different stuff, you could really make it your own. But we even have the Bratz car that's very similar to this car, right? So, I don't know. I like the way the Shreddy Guerrero looks. And you can also put this figure with the That's the SmackDown 4-pack. And this is a, it up next to it, which I don't think looks as good if it's standing beside it. It looks a little small. But if you put them in there like this Eddie Guerrero, I think it fits fine. And then you have this Eddie Guerrero, which kind of gives you the old idea there. But then also, we do have the Ultimate Edition Ray coming. So, we've already seen the basic Ray Mysterio, but there's the basic Ray Mysterio. And then here is a just standard Elite Ray Mysterio up next to the car which i think could also work and then we do have a dominic mysterio that we could put over here so if you want to put dominic in there you could you know put dominic in there which i think also works if you wanted to do so not bad man not a bad car i actually the more i've gotten into the review i like it i just wish it was a little bit cheaper but at the end of the day i'd recommend this for your eddie guerrero displays and such i i actually enjoy this figure i enjoy this set i think it's cool i'm interested to see what comes of the ray mysterio in the lwo elite five pack i imagine that pack's going to be hitting soon and we'll get to put that car in there and that figure and i may i may load down the entire car with the whole lwo five pack when we review that figure i think that would be or that figure your pack I guess you could say but I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our Lucha Lowrider action figure set review which I think necessarily isn't Target exclusive but I think if you wanted it retail it is Target exclusive so I think it's available on Amazon as well but that is going to wrap up the Lucha Lowrider review guys hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know your thoughts on this car I think it's pretty cool I think there's some cool features in it overall if you want a lowrider for your Eddie Guerrero this is probably the one to get Especially if you don't want to go aftermarket trying to find perfect vehicles for your Eddie, Eddie Guerrero and display. But this is the perfect lowrider for your Eddie Guerrero collection, I think. Not my favorite price tag, but at the end of the day, I think it does suffice. And you get some cool play features and stuff, which I know not everybody really cares about. But, you know, you can get creative with it. Actually, before we get out of here, let's launch, let's launch Rey Mysterio. Because I want to see what that's like. Because, you know, you can put him on here and then launch him the hell out. So, let's put him here to see... Let's just see what comes of it right here. So, you push down the hood. Yeah, and you just launch him the hell away. A huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support as always. You guys are absolute beasts. Thank you guys so very much as always for your continued support on the channel. But I'm getting the hell out. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to try and plug some photography in there so you guys can see some different things, obviously, as we progress. Hopefully that was plugged in there. But good night here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.